We've been looking forward to this. We have Jace Marty from the Black Frost Distillery in to talk about something you're really excited about, your own product now. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. So we're getting ready to launch our own rum uh, on uh, next Friday, um, August 4th. So we are a whiskey focused distillery, but whiskey needs to age. And so while we're waiting for our whiskey to mature in barrels, we decided to come out with a rum. Yeah, so how, how, what's that process like? Yeah, so rum by law has to be made with either blackstrap mol or molasses or sugar cane. Uh, we're using blackstrap molasses, which is kind of a very uh, strongly flavored molasses, and that really translates into the flavor that we're having with our rums. And we wanted to come up with rums because rums are a really versatile spirit. They're great in cocktails, or you know, especially like on a really hot day like now, um, to have a nice rum cocktail is something that's uh, really going to hit the spot. So. Oh, good. I think you might make one for us. And yeah, while you absolutely. Do, we'll we'll so keep talking while I, you do. I uh, yeah. am definitely not a bartender. Do not <laughs> pretend to be one whatsoever. Uh, we have a great, uh, amazing staff at our cocktail room, so uh, they will do a much better job than me. But I figured uh, today uh, I'll just make a classic daiquiri. Oh, that uh, very cool. simple drink. So uh, showcase both of our rums. We have a regular white rum. It's 94 proof. It's made with blackstrap molasses and sugar cane. So it has kind of a lighter, uh, grassier taste to it. And then we have our, also our overproof rum which is made with uh, just blackstrap molasses and think of it kind of like salt where it's very bold, it's very mm. uh, intensely flavored and so a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna kind of showcase both of those. So um, to, to make a, a, a daiquiri, um, like I said, pretty simple drink, just three ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of our regular white rum. And how long did it take you to perfect this, the taste of these? Yeah, uh, rum has is, is definitely been... Should have uh, invited us over. We've got to help you out. <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you're, you're more than welcome <laughs> to. Um, rum has been a passion product of mine, kind of started during COVID. Uh, you know, we all had time on our hands. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and it, it kind of leads into what we're trying to do as a distillery. Um, and we didn't want to come out with a product... Uh, that didn't really say anything about we're going to come out later with our whiskeys. So rum is, uh, you can showcase a lot of the character of the spirit through fermentation. And so mm -hmm. that's why I really wanted to have rums where we can showcase uh, a little bit, kind of tease out what we're going to have with our whiskeys. So um, that was a big uh, driver of the reason why we, why we um, chose rum. Yeah. All right. So you put these two in. So, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, two ounces of rum. I'm going to squeeze about uh, an ounce of lime juice, which is, you know, depending on the lime, <laughs> uh, about about a lime and then I'm gonna add uh, I like my daiquiris um, a little uh, not as sweet so we'll use uh, three-quarter ounce of simple syrup mm -hmm. uh, simple syrup is just equal parts of water and we use cane sugar so okay. um, from the same uh, place where we get our molasses uh, and the sugar we use that to make our simple syrup as well so okay. equal parts of that um, we're gonna add a little uh, ice in here Give that a couple of quick stirs. Like I said, nice simple cocktail. Music to my ears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice simple cocktail. Um, and this is, you know, a great drink to really showcase the two rums because it really pops. You get a, that nice hit of acidity from the lime juice, a little sweetness, and then, um, you know, of course, the uh, All right, try that out. The rum. I'll pass so. one down to Kelsey, I guess. All right, cheers. Yes. Um, so for folks that haven't been to see you yet, what can they expect when they come into Block Frost? And where are you located? We should yeah, so we're too. located in New Ulm, Minnesota, 201 First Street North. Uh, we converted an old uh, New Ulm wholesale, which uh, got bought out by Hermel uh, out of Mankato here. Um, so it's an old brick building, uh, really cool. We stripped it down to kind of the raw architecture so it's exposed brick inside the cocktail room big uh, columns mm -hmm. there one of the very minimalistic design kind of like a you know think yeah, of like Scandinavian mm -hmm. uh, minimalist there so um, yeah the tables are made out of the, the tanks that we use to ferment the tops of the tanks mm -hmm. um, so kind of some some draws into the production area you can see as you walk in the glass you'll see our fermenters the still right there uh, nice big outdoor space as well to yeah. uh, sit and enjoy cocktails. Oh, this, this is, is delicious. So good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, Perfect for great, summer. Great yeah. day. Uh, great Perfect day for a Friday, Friday too. Yep, it yep. really is. Jason, thanks for coming in. All right, yeah. thank you. More on Kato Living when we come back.